Hi, welcome to my channel and to my review show. Today's guest is the Mossberg Maverick 88 12 gauge combo. Now, I haven't bought too many shotguns before, so I'm kind of out of the loop as to the pricing. So when I uh, was looking for a budget shotgun, I automatically gravitated to the ones that's made in China or Turkey because they were selling for around 300 bucks Canadian. Till I came across this one online, it was on sale for $280 Canadian, which translates to $205 US, and it came in an extra barrel. So I bought it, and I thought to myself, well, why should I buy one that's made in China or Turkey when I can buy one uh, assembled in the USA? I know the parts are made elsewhere, but at least it's assembled in the USA. So, um, so today, I'm going to do a review on this and see if it's worth buying. I'll be back. I am back. Now let's get rid of the specs. The AOL for the 18 and a half inch barrel is 38 and a half inches. The one for the 28 inch barrel is 48 inches. The weight is six and a quarter. The weight for the 28 inch barrel is seven pounds. The capacity for the two and three quarter inches shell is six plus one. For the three inch shell is five plus one. The LOP is 14 inches and the trigger weight is between 3 and 5 and that's all over the place. Not very consistent. Okay, let's start with the review. Uh, this is what came with the package. I got a manual, a trigger lock, and a choke tool. Why don't we start from the front and work our way to the back. Let's get rid of this. Uh, this tag, Mossberg tag, that's all it is. It's just plastic. Okay. The 18 and a half inch barrel has a brass bead in the front. Okay. And it's actually quite thin. Uh, the barrel thickness, it's about uh, less than two millimeter. However, the bluing is quite good. I like it. The 28 inch barrel has a rib that runs throughout the whole length. It has two beads, one white one which is a little bit larger and a small brass one in the middle. The, the bluing is also quite nice. Now the tube itself is also made out of steel and the bluing is also very nice. However, the forehand, um, that's where it becomes cheap. It, uh, it's all in one piece uh, with the action bars. You can see the filing marks on the action bar, not really well done, and the bluing is not very good. And if you don't like this action bar, uh, you'll have to replace the whole thing. Moving on to the receiver, it's made out of uh, aluminum alloy. You can tell the finishing is a little different. Oh, by the way, before I go there, uh, the 28 inch uh, barrel, uh, which is known as the field, and the 18 and a half inch barrel, which is known as security, has the 28 inch has a choke and has a mod marked on it. Going to the receiver, it's made out of alloy and the trigger housing is made out of plastic. The stock seems rather thin, made out of uh, polymer, but it has a nice cushiony uh, rubber uh, pad for at the end of the butt, uh, butt plate. And uh, at the bottom it has a, a little place for your swivel. And of course, uh, the tube uh, screw also has a place for the uh, swivel. Now, the Maverick 88 model safety is uh, on the trigger housing. Unlike the other two models, uh, the 500 and 590, uh, it's on the tang. This is uh, on the. This is actually more convenient if you have a pistol grip. You know, you can actually switch from safe to fire just by pushing it. Okay. The fit is uh, between the stock and the receiver. Not exactly perfect, but not bad. So, okay. So, um, to load, you have to press this button, pull the forehand back. You could load one right into the chamber, like this. 
and of course the other five rounds goes well, actually six rounds with the two and three quarter shell goes in this way goes in goes in like that okay and so after you push from safe to fire like that you're ready for Okay, so what do I think about this budget shotgun combo? Uh, I like it. I think it's uh, for, the, for the price, it's really a good deal. Uh, you're getting two barrels, um, and, uh, and although this isn't uh, ideal, uh, I do have plans to change that, and I also plan to change that stock. So, uh, yes. I'd rather be buying this than the ones that made in China or Turkey. Thank you very much for joining me. Please hit the like and subscribe button.